So this morning we've been exceptionally lucky. We've come back to the leopard den, to Saseka's den, and we have just had a visual of her run off into the grass, and it looks like the cubs are here. Very good morning to all the viewers and subscribers. So, as you would have seen the last few days, we've had very bleak sort of weather. We've had a overcast, cloudy, a little bit of a, a drizzle. Um, so it's, it is quite strange weather. It's not my favorite weather, um, but in terms of sightings, it normally does produce quite well because everything stays active for longer, especially now towards the end of summer when it still is quite hot. But we are lucky enough that it has been relatively cool the last few days. Um, the plan this morning, I think we're going to just bumble around, maybe try and look for the Mbiri Pride. Um, we definitely are going to try and head back towards Saseka's Den. Uh, that should be an exciting story to follow over the next coming weeks. So, yeah, I think we'll try Lions in the north first, head down towards Seca's Den, and then uh, maybe check around there for the Nauru Pride. No, we haven't seen them for a while either. Obviously, reports of them being around, but no sighting. So, lots of things to find. Let's see what we get this morning. So, after just leaving camp this morning, we've got a Cape Glossy Starling. Let's just caught this grass up and just trying to kill it in the road. Okay, so it seems as though it's a Cape Glossy starling parent and it's busy feeding its youngsters. You can see the Juveniles don't have the as bright a colour as them yet, the iridescent feathers or the glossy yellow orange eye. What a unique little sighting just outside of camp. So this morning we've been exceptionally lucky. We've come back to the leopard den, to Saseka's den, and we have just had a visual of her run off into the grass, and it looks like the cubs are here as well. I've just seen little little tufts of grass moving behind her. So we're going to spend some time here. The light is starting to get better. As you can see, the, the sun is trying to push through the clouds. So hopefully we get some good light on them, and uh, maybe we actually get a glimpse of the cubs, but we'll, we'll sit here for a bit and see and just wait patiently and quietly.
Okay, so, wow, I'm actually lost for words. This is unbelievable. These little cups are so tiny. So I would say anything just, just over two months old. That's literally how small they are. So Saseka is just, she's just gone off now across the drainage line. I think either she's gone to go and drink water or she's gone off to maybe go back to a kill. I'm really not sure. Um, but she has left the cubs now and the cubs have been left alone here. But they've slowly slunk off back into their den site. Looks like a sort of little area that's quite well concealed and covered. So we are going to leave them now. They've gone. I don't think they'll come out while she's here. As they get older, they might come out. But yeah, if she's not here, I don't think they'll be out. So it's the right thing to do as well, just to give them a bit of peace. But it's really good. They were watching the vehicle a few times and they were coming a bit closer and then veering off. So it's all part of the habituation process. But we are going to leave them now. We might come back this afternoon and see if she comes back to them. But yeah, what a what a fantastic sighting, everyone. Okay, so this afternoon we are just about to leave camp and uh, we've just heard Impala alarm calling around the back here. So we're going to go and have a look. It sounds like towards the direction of Manor House. So let's go and have a look and see what's there. Could be lions, could be leopard, uh, maybe even a cheetah. So at the moment we've shot out to Manor House here and we've got this big herd of Impala that are on a high alert. So we think there's possibly members of the Mbui pride tucked away in the long grass here. We're going to have a look for them now. Wow everyone, so that was super action-packed sighting, I did not expect that at all, but we just left Manor House and the Impala that were alarm calling and we shot down south, nearly close towards S8 Dam, because uh, we obviously heard on the radio there was a pack of wild dogs that had moved in, and uh, we got there just in time, literally got on the road, and here the dogs were fighting over an Impala with the hyenas, and I mean you can just here by that sighting it was just noise and chaos and I'm actually very surprised how that in Bali pack it was the in Bali pack of wild dogs in the end they managed to hold off those those hyenas so wow <laughs> like I always say wild dogs are my favorite wild dogs and hyenas together unbeatable um, in my opinion I think there's very few sightings that can beat that but for now we are heading back to camp it is getting dark we've obviously traveled south we need to get back and hopefully on our way home we might bump into some lions around camp. Um, they were there this afternoon or this morning. So fingers crossed we get them. <laughs> 